examining the overlooked implications of natural nuclear reactors. J. Marvin Hernan on April 7, 1972, scientists at the French Atomic Energy Establishment at Pirula discovered a 0.4% anomaly in the uranium isotopic ratio of a sample of natural uranium. In a masterful example of analytical detective work, the French scientists traced the anomaly to a particular area of a uranium mine located at Oklo in the Republic of Gabon. In that area they found uranium that was deficient in U-235 and was accompanied by fission-produced isotopes of ND and SM. On September 25, 1972, the French Atomic Energy Commission announced their conclusion that self-sustaining nuclear chain reactions had occurred on Earth about 2,000 million years ago in L, 1972. Later, other natural nuclear fission reactors were discovered in the region Gauthier Lafay et al., 1996. Today, sufficiently thick, 0.5 m seams of uranium ore would be unable to initiate self-sustaining neutron chain reactions because the proportion of U-235 inches natural uranium is too low. But 1800 million years ago, when nuclear fission activity began in Oklo, the proportion of U-235 inches natural uranium was more than four times greater, thereby resulting in deposits that could achieve a self-sustaining neutron chain reaction. Subsequent studies show that not only had areas in the Oklo deposit functioned as thermal neutron reactors, as predicted by Kuroda 1956, but they had also functioned as fast neutron breeder reactors, producing additional fissile material in the form of plutonium and other transuranic elements. Breeding fissile material results in possible reactor operation continuing long after the U-235 proportion in natural uranium would have become too low to sustain neutron chain reactions. The discovery of the intact remains of natural nuclear reactors has profound scientific implications, especially in proving the existence and nature of an energy source capable of producing more than an order of magnitude more energy than radioactive decay alone. Curiously, the subject appears never to have been addressed in the pages of science or the Journal of Geophysical Research. Gauthier Lafay et al., 1996, had recently reviewed the considerable body of work done characterizing the conditions and consequences on the environment of the natural reactors at Oklo. The natural reactors are important as natural analogs to nuclear waste repositories mainly as Oklo is the only known occurrence in the world where actinides and fission products have been in a near-surface geological environment for an extremely long period of time. The implications of Oklo, however, extend far beyond the surface regions of the Earth. Planetary reactors in the late 1960s, astronomers discovered that Jupiter radiates into space about twice as much energy as it receives from the Sun. Later, Saturn and Neptune were also found to radiate prodigious quantities of internally generated energy. That excess energy production has been described by Hubbard 1990 as one of the most interesting revelations of modern planetary science. Stevenson 1978, discussing Jupiter, stated, The implied energy source is apparently gravitational in origin, since all other proposed sources for example, radioactivity, accretion, thermonuclear fusion fall short by at least two orders of magnitude similarly. More than a decade later, Hubbard 1990, asserted, Therefore, by elimination, only one process could be responsible for the luminosities of Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune. Energy is liberated when mass in a gravitationally bound object sinks closer to the center of attraction. Potential energy becomes kinetic energy having knowledge of Oklo, Herndon 1992, realized a different possibility and proposed the idea of planetary-scale nuclear fission reactors as energy sources for the giant planets. The feasibility was demonstrated in part using the same calculations employed in the design of commercial nuclear reactors and employed by Kuroda 1956, to